I just saw that um, Mr. Stout. Can I start? Yeah, start. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just saw that uh, God wants you to um, just grow a gift that when you go into, um, it's, it's a fire belt, and when you step into these lands that have got um, things coming against them like tornadoes and um, what is that water thing called? And that water comes up? Um, so tsunamis and earthquakes. Tsunamis, that's right, tsunami. Yeah. Um, you're going to see ahead of time that something's that something's going to happen to the land, and you're going to step into there, and you're going to declare that this is going to be stopped, and this is where that the people are going to see your your authority that you have in Christ, and they see that that we can actually rise up to be sons of God and stop tornadoes, stop tsunamis, stop earthquakes before it actually happens. I just also saw that. Um, there was like a cyclone coming in Australia, and you prayed against it, and it, it just um, it just disappeared into little fluffy clouds. And wherever you go, you're dropping your DNA, and when you're dropping your DNA, you light you're lighting the, the earth on fire. And it's not going to be a fire belt anymore where it's dangerous and to to live on. It's going to be a fire belt on where everybody wants to live in those areas because the power of God is going to be so strong in those areas because wherever you go, wherever you walk, you're dropping your DNA and you're dropping the power of God. I also saw you going into America and where these um, uh, tornadoes and hurricanes and things like that, but you went into a school to preach. And as you went into the school to preach, you actually there in the world to change atmospheres wherever you go. So you went into the school and you saw that this chip in the school was very depressed and you saw that the things that he was planning to do against the school and you go in and you actually picked it up and you actually spoke the goodness of God over his life and he repented and you changed that whole atmosphere in that school. So you are an atmosphere changer and it's not only teaching and growing the other people but you've got to God wants you to grow your power as an atmosphere changes. If when you're walking, you're changing the atmosphere. That you're walking on uh, on on the places that the hurric that an earthquake was going to happen. It's going to change, and the earth is going to have to come into alignment with the power of God. That your feet that you're walking, the earth will come into alignment with the power of God, and the earthquake will no longer be. When you raise your hand, the tornadoes will become into line with the power of God, and they'll have to just go away. they just disappear. And this is what God's saying, that when you're going into an area, that you're going to heal the sick with your shadow. When you're going to an area, you're going to change an atmosphere. When you're going to go in an area, the, the people, the government, and the, and the people in that land are going to be calling upon you to come in and change the atmosphere of the things that are going wrong in the land, going wrong in the country. And the biggest one that the that people feel that there's no control, but you know, you know that you can go in and you can stop that earthquake. You know you can stop the tornadoes. You so you're going to be called in quickly. And the whole thing with this is that you don't have a pride about you, you don't ask them for money or anything. The whole thing about this is that you keep humble before God and He will just give you this incredible anointing that that people are going to call you in because they hear that this cyclone is coming and they want you to pray about, pray for their land to stop a cyclone, pray for their land to stop a tsunami, pray for their land to stop. You get like warning signals. And um, you got so long, they'll phone you up and they say, listen, we've got a warning that this is going to happen. Please, can you pray? And the authority, you don't have to go into the land all the time, you, but you're going to speak authority and you're going to be called on by um, people in high places to, to prophesy into nations. You're going to be called into, um, I just see you calling into parliament and, and calling into kings and queens and, and calling into governments to speak with authority of changing the atmosphere in the land, changing when you walk in and people are, uh, are wanting to ransack and, and put on fire the, um, the, and just I just see absolute chaos when you walk in, you're going to change that chaos into peace and you're going to change the weather into calm. Everything will have to align to the, the order of heaven on earth. 
and that is authority God has given you. He says, even though you got the, you, you teach and you and you you bring other people up, God just wants to push you now further onto the fire belt of the nations, where everybody says a bad word about the name. It's ours. Oh, this it's a fire belt, and the earthquakes are going to happen. You're going to say no. It's not a fire belt. It's a fire belt of God. God's heaven is now on earth, and this is now changed. Does that make sense to you? Wow. This is one of the biggest words I've ever heard in my life. Okay. But that's what, what what is, what's that's God doing to me that he's going to give me that authority? <laughs> he wants the world to see, wake up and see that he's God. I, um, I um, had, a, had a dream. Well, I, I've had a dream that one day preaching in a stadium and uh and calling Jupiter to earth and sending Jupiter back and getting it recorded by all the atheists and letting the whole world see that God can do miraculous things like that wow and um and and it, i don't know if it's a dream that i'd do it or someone else would do it but it's it's it's, it's a stadium event and I call the attention to all the people that are watching on YouTube and watching around the world via the internet. And I say, for all of you who don't believe there's a God, well, God's going to start speaking through me and what he says is going to happen. And, and when God starts to speak through me, he's going to say some things and then he's going to say, Jupiter, come here. Wow. And, That's awesome. And... and that, those stopping the storms and doing all those earthquakes and stuff would be like getting in preparation to do that big one. Absolutely. That's like... But I rarely share that with people because they just can't handle hearing that. Wow. People, people just think you're crazy thinking you can do that. Oh, yeah. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> But you know what? <laughs> You've got to rise up to, to take dominion over the earth. The yeah. earth is ever increasing, fading. The sons of God are to manifest, to bring back the things. God has been showing me that we're going to walk, under, walk into water and we're not going to have to have any mask or anything. We're going to walk into the depths of the water with no masks at all. And we're going to stay there for hours and people are going to be waiting for us. To, they think we're dead. And we're going to come back up. God has shown me such incredible things that we're going to be doing because he wants the world to see. You see, there's a lot of magicians out there. They're doing tricks, you know, on the wrong side. Yeah. The whole world is flabbergasted. And God said, I'm, this I'm going to manifest much more than the earth has ever, ever seen. Yeah. Ever seen. And, yeah. um, you know, it's ever increasing. The world is, you know, he built the world and it's just deep, everything. God says, only when we rise up, can we bring things back like like a dinosaur? Yeah. Like uh, things that, like a dodo. We're gonna bring those things that are that are long gone and extinct, we're gonna bring them back into this world. Wow. Well, and it's gonna blow the world's mind. You get a lot of revelation. Yes. Yeah, you this this is what happens when you're a deep when you're a deep lover of Jesus, he shares his secrets with us. Can you can, can, can you imagine what would happen to the scientific world with them recording Jupiter coming and standing, uh, you know, a thousand kilometers from Earth and then going back into the solar system? Yeah. I know. You know, I you, you convert so many atheists in that act. I know. And, this, and the manifestations that God showed me, it's not going to be little ones like... We always say, oh, Lord, we want to walk on water, we want to change, we want to change water into wine, and we want to levitate, and we want to trans translocate. God is saying, I'm going to do so much more than that. Yeah. The world is already levitating and on the wrong side, you know? Yeah. And translocating, and we all want that. We all want to translocate so we don't have to pray, which God showed me we we're going to be doing, going from one land to another to pray. No EFE is nothing because it's going to be too expensive. He's yep. given us all the people who are hungry for God. He's really given them a passport to travel in the spirit. Yeah. And, you know, so, um, but he says, I'm going to do so much more, more when the world will actually wake up and say, 
wow, look, we've got the dodo back. How did it come back? You know what I mean? What's a dodo? Um, An ancient bird, is it? Yeah, it's a bird that has been extinct for years and years and years. So the animals that are like are, are extinct, God said, I'm going to bring them back. I'm going to refill this world. I'm going to bring this world back to glory. But only the sons of God can rise up. That's why the, the, it says in the Bible that animals and everything is waiting for us. Creation is waiting for us. Yeah. To rise and shine. So they're waiting for us to rise and shine and, and bring life to this world. Yeah, someone prophesied uh, it was only a short word and it was um, a novice. It was a prophecy, one student. And they said that I was going to be a gatekeeper to Australia and I was going to keep storms and uh, earthquakes and calamities out of Australia. And um, uh, your word went into so much more depth about what I'm going to do. So I could have yeah. an effect on the bushfires in Australia during during summer. We have bad bushfires. Yep. I could start to stop them. Absolutely. Angus Buchan has already done that in South Africa. Yeah. He's already done it. He had a bush, major bushfire, and he walked out. And he said, "That's enough. Stop. Rain come down, and the rain came down instantly." We've seen it, yeah. Wow. Who did that? We see Angus Buchan. Right. He does mighty men's conferences all around the world. That old man, Angus Buchan. Can you type He's it into Skype. Skype for me? Uh, Can you type his name into a Skype message for me? Okay, okay. Did you get it? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I I can see it. Yeah, I'll uh, go back and uh, search on his name and read about him. I um I know that I know I used to operate in a lot of pride, and pride comes from insecurity and low self-esteem. And through inside out and hearing a lot of prophecies over my life, and through uh, hearing the doctrine of grace and and, and the liberation of the grace gospel. Um, I've been set free of my pride and I've entered into some real good humility. And um, and it's interesting you mention humility because uh, you'd have to be really humble if the, if the kings and princes of the countries are calling you to stop disasters in their country. Yep, you have to be. It's going to be a, a, a war before you get there. I know that because, I mean, even what God's showing me now, I have to, I've been really showed me how to be humble. He's really, he's taught me how to be humble. I would never, I would have, it's so easy to get, oh, look what I can see and you can't see anything kind of thing. Yeah. But he's taught me how to be humble. Yeah. Really, he's taught me. And you, it's, it, people get such a big head that they go off on the wrong tangent. Where if you're just humble and you listen to God, you just say exactly what he says, you know it's all about God, there's nothing about you. Yeah. You know, because that's going to be so huge. It's going to be so easy to start raking in money and being a big shot. And oh, you know what I mean? It's going yeah. to be so easy to go in that line. Ma money has got no hold on me. Uh, I, I, um, I, I have seen visions of my accounts having a million dollars a day coming through them and a million dollars a day going out on the same day. You know, I, I. Yeah. You know, you said in, in prophecy class, don't put a prophecy on the shelf. I basically put a prophecy away and I try not to think about it too much because it's too big. But I've had some tremendously big prophecies uh, spoken over my life. And, uh, yeah, me too. I've got a big book. And uh, I, um, well, not a lot of them. A lot of them are just revelation that the God has shown me. My dreams and desires uh, are so big. And... Um, I just, I just want people to know Jesus like I know him. Yeah, I know. I know, me too. Yeah. Pe people, know. people really aren't interested. They just want to do an hour and yeah, a half yeah. on a Sunday and that's all they want to do for God. Yeah, I know. I've got that as well. I've got that as well. I know. But any case, I must go. It's very late. Okay. I'll okay. let you go. Thank you very much. Thank you as well. Nice meeting. I'll go on Facebook and... Uh, 
be friends. We can chat again. Yeah, go go to my Open Heavens group. That's where you'll find me. I will. I will. So nice meeting you. Thank you very much. See you. Okay. Bye. bye.